So just when I think that I've already discovered the best way to self-host a Minecraft server, a commenter introduced me to something called MinOS, which basically provides a web UI for you to manage your Minecraft server graphically, which can be a lot more intuitive than using the command line. So I'm gonna show you how to install it and how to use it. First, I'm gonna cover how to install the MinOS ISO, which runs on a Linux distribution called Turnkey, which is based on Debian that's pre-installed with MinOS. And then I'm gonna show you how to install MinOS on an existing server, which I'm gonna be demonstrating on Ubuntu server. All right, so now in order to download the MinOS ISO, you're gonna head over to this link, which I'll have in the description, and then you're gonna click download. So now I've already downloaded this file beforehand. I've got it right here in a VM. So now I'm gonna start it up and install to hard disk. And I would select guided use entire disk. And yep, this looks good. Now make sure that whatever drive you're installing this to, that there's nothing on it that you need because it will be erased. But anyway, I'm gonna finish partitioning and write changes to the disk. Yes, format the partition, and then it'll go install the system. I'll speed this up. And yes, install the grub bootloader to the master boot record. And I would hit eject and reboot here once it's done. All right, now that we've got MinOS installed, we can just boot the Debian new Linux option. Now we'll set a password for the root account, confirm it, and then set a password for the MC account, confirm that. And if you wanted to use the turnkey backup and migration feature, this is where you enter the API key. I don't have that set up, so for now we can skip this. And I would skip this system notifications, since that's a little bit complicated to set up on a home network. And yes, let's install security updates. And let's reboot to apply the update. All right, and now there's your server access information. It has your server's IP address there. And now you're gonna punch in your server's IP address, which in my case is 192.168.1.48, colon 8443, which is at the default port that MinOS uses for its web interface. I'm sorry, you actually have to do https colon slash slash 192.168.1. whatever colon 8443 otherwise it won't work and now your browser is going to complain of a potential security risk because this is using a self-signed certificate it's safe to continue so now you're going to log into the MinOS interface and your username will be MC, and your password will be whatever you set up on install. And there you go, now you got your server overview here. So now let's actually create a Minecraft server. To do that, first we've gotta to go to Profiles, and then download a Mojang Jar. I'm gonna go get the latest one. All right, that's downloaded. So now we can create a new server. Give it a name, I'm gonna call it Minecraft server and this is where you could set your server parameters including your port we can leave server ip blank i don't think that really matters our seed difficulty game mode even the level type whether you want default super flat and toggle on or off generate structures but anyway we're going to create a new server so now you've got this new stuff on the side here and you can change settings in your server.properties file and now here we got to set our profile and here as well. And this is where we can set our maximum RAM that our server can use. I would leave a little bit for our server as far as the OS itself and this web UI. Now you've got options here to start the server on boot. So whenever you boot up the server, it'll automatically start your Minecraft server, if that makes sense. And now we can accept the EULA and accept EULA and start it. And now that server is starting up. And now if we refresh and select Minecraft server, we can look at our server log and see that right now it's starting up. And this is also where we'll type in Minecraft commands from our server. And now you can connect to your server by typing in your server's IP address 
into Minecraft and now you're in. And if you want to get a list of all the commands that you can use on your server, just come to your log, your server log and type help exactly like that. And then it'll output a list of all the commands. So feel free to have fun with those, including the whitelist command, which will allow you to set up a whitelist on your server. So only players you approve can join on. Now, if you want to stop your server, just come back to server status and click stop. Just give it a second to save your world. All right, and now it's down. So if you want to install MineOS on a server that you've already set up with something like Ubuntu server, which is what I have here, then we're gonna punch in a series of commands, which I'll have in the description. The first thing we've got to do is install the dependencies by running sudo apt install node.js openjdk 17jre for our Java, git artif backup screen build essential and npm, then punch in your password, then yes, continue and install those. All right, and then hit enter here. And by the way, I should mention that the commands I'm using are assuming you're using Ubuntu server. If you're using another distribution, the commands might be a little bit different, especially the sudo apt commands. But anyway, now we're gonna cd into slash usr slash games, and then do a sudo git clone the minos node repository and then cd into the minecraft directory and then sudo git config core dot file mode false and then sudo chmod plus x generate ssl cert dot sh minos console dot js and web ui dot js to make those three files executable then hit enter and then sudo cp minos.conf to etsy minos.conf and then sudo npm install. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna do sudo dot slash generate SSL cert.sh to generate our SSL certificate and then sudo cp usr games minecraft init systemd conf to etsy systemd system minos.service to create the minos service and then sudo systemctl enable Mine OS. And then sudo system ctl start mine OS. All right, now it's started. So now we can get our server's IP address. There it is. So now we can go into our web browser, type https colon slash slash 192.168.1.78 colon 8443 and just like before we have to trust our self-signed certificate and then log in to our MineOS interface with the information on our server and then you can follow the same steps to download the Mojang jar and create a new server. And that's it for this video. Give it a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff and see you next time.